Are you having trouble deleting a folder or a file and getting an error message like this? Could not find this item. This is no longer located in. Then keep watching because I just might have the solution for you. So I've had this issue for a long time where I could not delete a folder because it kept telling me it could not find the item or it's no longer found or located in the file path. Basically the folder is empty. There's nothing in there. I deleted everything, but for some strange reason, the folder remains and it could never delete it. I can put things back in the folder and delete them, no problem, but ultimately I can't delete the actual folder itself. It's always there. So give this a try. First, you're going to need to copy the path. That's basically the file address or location of where the folder is. And it's usually pretty long. So instead of just typing it out yourself, you want to copy the path. Now, if you just right mouse click the folder, you'll notice that copy path is not found in the options. So what you need to do is you need to hold the shift key and right mouse click the folder at the same time. Then you'll see the option for copy path and you want to click on copy path. Next, you'll want to pull up your search box and simply type in CMD. When you see command prompt, right click it and select run as administrator. This will open up the command prompt. From here, you want to type in the drive letter of where the file or folder is located with a colon and hit enter. In my case, it's J drive. Then type in the command DIR. This will show you a list of all the folders or directories that are on that drive. So in my case, I'm looking for the folder called mega downloads because that's where the folder is located in that I could never delete. So to take a look at what's in that folder, simply type in CD backslash and the folder name. In my case, mega downloads and hit enter. Now you'll be in that folder. And so from in that folder, once again, type in the command dir to see what files or folders are in this folder. And it'll show you a list. And in my case, there's the file YouTube Advanced Masterclass folder. That's the folder that I could never delete. So this is what we couldn't delete in Windows using the common method, right clicking and selecting delete or hitting the delete key. So going back to the command prompt, now it doesn't matter which drive you're in. You could do it from your C drive or your J drive, D or E drive, any drive. Just type in this following command. R D space forward slash s space double backslash question mark backslash and then hit control v to paste the file path that you copied earlier and that will basically paste the entire file path or address of where your folder is located in the computer in my case it's really long you'll also notice that it puts it in quotation marks so if you have a file name or a folder that's got spaces between the words you need to put them in quotation marks. Otherwise, the search function won't work and it won't find the correct one. That's why it's just better to copy the path as I showed you. Then you don't have to worry about it. It'll automatically do it for you. Now you want to hit enter and then it's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes or no? Meaning, are you sure you want to delete it? Type in the letter Y and hit enter. And when it takes you to a blank line, it's finally deleted. You can even double check that it's gone. Go back to your windows, go back to the file directory or folder. And in my case, you can see masterclass folder is now gone. You can also also double check in the command prompt. Simply type in the drive letter again, followed by colon, hit enter, then add the command dir to see the directories. As you can see, my mega downloads folder. So we're going to go in there to take a look and make sure the YouTube folder is gone. Once again, type in cd backslash and your folder name. And once you're in, type in the command dir and hit enter. And as you can see, there's no more folder. The YouTube masterclass folder is gone. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to give a like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time.